to the madhouse. It is chaos here. But we have a nice new dining table. I'm going to show you around shortly and show you what we're dealing with. But first, coffee, because I can barely speak right now. <laughs> We can now never move this armchair. It has to stay here forever. You're watching the birds. You have a chair, don't you? You look a real human. Sometimes I think Nala is a human trapped in a dog's body. Like you did something in a past life and now you're shrimpy. You've been reincarnated as a shrimp. Am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> Okay, we are looking a little bit fresher now. I sound a little bit more awake. Welcome to the vlog. This week, I am getting us ready to move because this month our loft reno starts and we have a situation. We have a situation. We don't have anywhere to live, which I thought was fine. And everyone else told me that was fine. When we've talked about it in the past, people were like, oh, people live in their renos all the time. It's fine, you'll be fine. Now we're getting closer to the time. People are like, you haven't found anywhere to live. And I'm like, you all said that I'd be fine living in my house. Why are we panicking? Now you're making me panic. So um, yeah, we don't have anywhere to live. The kind of setup we thought we might have is still TBC. We could be living in a reno, but I am getting us ready to go just in case the second we actually resolve that situation we will be out of here but i also am not only moving out of the house i have to move out of my wardrobe room because this is the area in which we are going to be building a staircase this is going to be a very long-term project so for a while our staircase will sit in a room which is weird i am aware but over time we're gonna budget depending because i have to do this in stages we are going to build in like less of a door more of a walkway so it just flows a little bit better and is a little bit less weird but until then this room is going to be where the staircase is this whole bit here staircase uh it will curve round because that's not actually enough room for a staircase so yeah I, I gotta be out of here and i have spent the weekend uh just kind of sorting getting things out of this wardrobe so it can be ready to be broken down i'm doing this a week early um which is not only nice because i get to be prepared but also very essential because i have a week of events solid like it is monday and after tomorrow i uh, i'm like solidly booked and away until sunday so and then the reno starts on monday so <laughs> this was my only time to do this i couldn't even talk to you guys whilst i was doing it i had to spend 48 hours solidly i think i slept for about six hours each day which is not a lot for me i know for some that's like a week's worth of sleep let me live six hours sleep is not a lot for me i'm a small human and i'm iron deficient and i forget to take my iron tablets i need my sleep this is empty 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 it's the end of an era guys it is the end of an era but one that i have to admit i am kind of over the moon about because these wardrobes were not strong enough for me <laughs> they could not hold my clothes um i think i need something more robust like this this is being held up there is a cardboard box down the side of this that is everything that is stopping this wardrobe from going just wedged between the wardrobe and the wall that is like peak youtube versus reality like everything looks fine and looks great but meanwhile there's one a cardboard box which you can just about see holding everything together <laughs> That is peak YouTube reality. Wow. Um, so yeah, everything is empty. Not gone. It's just all in my living room. And we actually need to have a sort through today because I need to go through the rail and see if there's anything that needs to go. I'm going to have like one last fine tune of my clothes rail and just see if there is anything I've missed that can go in the charity bag. There's a charity collection today. So we're going to go through that together. Hopefully now before our builder shows up because he's coming for a meeting about half an hour so we're gonna have half an hour of just like blitzing the rail and then i'm basically i'm basically done famous last words also we have kept these are the boxes from the dining table chair delivery they're actually a really good size like they're long and they can lie flat and for me in terms of like being able to move my stuff this is ideal because it will fit in my car 
I find that the very square boxes, like tall square ones, they are not made for being moved in a car. You go to shut your boot and it just doesn't shut. So these are amazing because I can just lie the seats flat and then lie, like stack these kind of in a stepping motion on top of each other um, and I'll be able to get loads in my car. So we've kept these to just put loads of stuff in. Um, I have two in the living room that are just full of like basics, all my sweats, stuff like that, that I will probably want to move to wherever we end up living. Let's not talk about that anymore. I also cleared the loft. That actually was not as bad as this room. This room had got so bad that you couldn't set foot in it. Like you actually couldn't get in it. There was no floor space. Nothing. It's been a wild 48 hours. So this is the living room situation. And this is all my clothes apart from the few bits that I have in my bedroom wardrobe. But I'm kind of like seeing things that maybe need to come out. So I have created a method for how we are going to clear this out. So we are going to use the three word system by Alison Bornstein. So she says like, come up with three words that describe your personal style. And what I'm going to do is use those to clear out my rail. And these three words are like the three words that I would preferably like to have to describe my personal style, not necessarily what uh, you may have seen over the last like couple of years, but I'm going for like minimalist, tailored, and by tailored I mean like well tailored to the body and a little bit sexy, whether it's like a little bit of skin showing or, but that's kind of like how I style the items, not necessarily the items themselves. So it's just like a little bit of like shoulder poking through or whatever. I think silky slip dresses, like nice shirts, nice trousers, the majority of which I would say are in my main wardrobe, but there's some, th there are some things in here that are just like red flags when I look at this rail. So we're just gonna go through and pull some bits out to go in the charity bag this morning. Uh, this being, I think the first one, I think this is gonna have to go because I just, I love this, but I just haven't worn it in so long. I think it's been like two summers now and I haven't worn it. So this is gonna go, I'm so sad about this because it's so pretty to the point where I'm kind of thinking that my sister-in-law might love this and I might actually save that for her. So I'm gonna put this down. Same with this. I think my sister-in-law will love this and it will look so pretty on her. Then we have this. If you're an OG, you may remember this, the H&M dress. And for a long time, it did not fit me. And it fits me again. And I can't bear to get rid of it. So I'm going to keep it for the mems. For the mems. And it actually is still quite a nice dress and it fits well and the length is amazing. So I'm going to keep it. This, this is giving my three words. I feel like tailored, sexy, minimal. We're going to keep this. That's a nice night out summer dress. Then we've got some midi dresses there, my, like perfectly my style for kind of warmer days. Um, we've got a load of tops. We've got a lot of tops. I'm gonna keep the tops because they're really handy on a night out. However, however, I think these can go. These are so bright and I'm probably never gonna wear that sparkly bra again, am I? I'm gonna put these in a maybe pile. This top, I'm not sure I love it. This top, I think is gonna go. I just, I don't think it's giving the same vibe as this top that I just pulled out. So we're gonna say goodbye to this one. This top, this is cute. It's actually like a halter neck and it's like corseted on the bottom. This is a good top, so we're gonna keep that one. Okay, last top, which is I'm so thankful for because they're so hard to pull in and out one-handed. Like this is, this is the bane of my life. I hate hangers. I'm gonna keep this one. This is from House of CB. It is gorgeous. It's like a white body and it's got a train on it and it's just stunning. And I think is really in line with the tailored, sexy, minimalist three words. Now, something that is really staring at me is this pink top. I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to this. It's a little bit too youthful for me. What else have we got? I'm unsure on this to be fair. No, actually I need to keep that. I love that. I just love it. A bright pink shirt. Hmm. No, that's got to go. A couple of little knitted mini dresses. They can stay. Skirts that I just love. Those are fine. Now, I want to get your opinion on this. This pair of shorts. What do we think of these? Can you let me know? I think I feel like these feed into the tailored aspect really well and they fit really nicely. So I think I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna give them one last one last shot. Denim shorts, they can stay. White shorts, that's great. I'm not sure on these leather trousers. We'll see, we'll see. These are very wintry, so I'm not gonna judge them until winter. I'm going to leave all of the wintry stuff as well until winter, because I just don't wanna regret being too 
uh, overzealous here, but I am going to have a little look through my events wardrobe and just pick out some things. I think I'm going to start like a buy rotation account. So I think I'm going to put some things that I just don't wear so much on it. Um, I'm thinking this dress. This is such a fun dress, such an easy go-to for nights out. Just like a little black lace mini dress. This YSL dress I will never be letting anyone get their hands on but me. I'm obsessed with it. I also have this little black play suit which I love and I think that's just going to be one that I keep at home as a go-to. Um, this pink one I just, I need to put it in my like storage but this was my 30th birthday <laughs> dress and she just fits perfectly and I love her so that one's going to stay. The 16 Arlington one as well, gonna stay. I might rent out this Zimmerman dress, to be fair. Lots of you will have seen that one before. And I have a couple of summer dresses, don't know what they're doing in there. And then I think we're on stuff that I actually plan on wearing over the next month, so yeah. And that needs to go back to Victoria, so yeah. We've done okay. I think this is a good amount of stuff. Does it look any better? No. Do I feel better? Yes. Down here we have a load of stuff for my Relight account, which will be coming soon. This is my box. This is my box with all of my basics, but then also I have a box with my bags in it. I even went as far as to bag up all of the stuff I plan on wearing on my next holiday and put it in this bag so that when I come to pack, it's super easy. So this is everything that is eventually going to be in my walk-in wardrobe. And hopefully when it's in a whole room, it will look nice and won't look chaotic. Okay, the builder is incoming, so let's ignore this, but let's quickly talk about this. So this might seem slightly unexpected. So I managed to turn this around in the space of a week. I ordered the table before we went to the south of France and I ordered these last Wednesday. The table came within a week and the chairs arrived in two days. Honestly, given the fact that anything home related takes about 61,000 years to come, I cannot believe my luck with this. Um, I also can't believe that none of this was a scam because I managed to save a lot of money. So the table is a quartz table. I believe it's quartz or like engineered marble uh, table from Oak Furniture Superstore. I'd never heard of the company before and I was like, this could be a massive scam. This could just be one of those companies that's terrible and the item arrives and it looks nothing like it did online. The price, it was like heavily discounted and I was like, this is too good to be true. Like in this life, sorry, it's a little bit bright. Let me tweak. Um, In this life, I just don't trust when things are on sale or like cheaper in any way i'm like what is wrong with it what's the catch what's the what's the catch here you know same with the chairs the chairs in other places were costing like 400 pounds so let's just run through pricing this was nearly i think it was like 1600 pounds the table and I got it for 900 and then the chairs normally are like 400 pounds on other retail sites and I think they were like 150 pounds per chair which is still a lot for chairs like this is not it's not giving Ikea pricing sadly even Ikea sometimes I'm like wow how does furniture cost this much for what I was getting I was like this is very very inexpensive compared to the competing prices why again what is the catch but the table arrived within a week delivery was good no issues no issues and then i decided not to order chairs until the table had arrived which could have been risky we could have been sat with a dining table for about six months with the rate that furniture takes to arrive but the table arrived i measured up like what i would like my ideal seat height to be compared it to lots of different chairs online and i found these they were like perfect height for what i wanted even measured the arm height and i was like i think the arms are actually gonna fit under the table which is like the dream and with the chairs i looked at the website i was like I've never again never ordered off this website before the reviews were a bit ropey and i was like this is a real risk but i'm taking this risk because the chairs are so inexpensive and even if some of them come scratched i'll take scratched for like half the freaking price all of the reviews i would say if you are gonna do what i was doing because again big risk not like a, a company that is like i would say is known in the UK, I've never heard of them. It's called Dolls. 
lots of the reviews that were negative were about the delivery and a lot of them were about the fact that you couldn't pick your delivery lots of that stuff i opted for the specific saturday delivery because it was actually like the closest day anyway because i was ordering like on like a thursday or a wednesday or something the delivery exceptional like got updates every step of the way got a call when they were half an hour out it was really really good so maybe i was just very very lucky in this situation with both products but i will take it i can't believe my luck and for like this kind of dining table and six chairs for 1800 pounds which i know is still a lot it's still so much money but for what i'm actually getting i don't think that i think i did quite well given what i could have spent if i'd got, like so many of my friends buy like marble tables and the table alone is like two thousand pounds because it's marble and obviously this is not it's still pretty solid i still can't move it i could put my whole weight on it and could never ever move it i can't even move the base without the table on it it's that heavy it's we're never leaving we are never leaving <laughs> between this and the Loft Reno, we are never ever leaving this house ever. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I am over the moon. And I'm sure a lot of you will be too, because I know that me not having a dining table was a sore spot for a very, very long time. And um, yes, I did eventually get sick of eating my dinner uh, at the island or on the sofa. So <laughs> it had to happen. I also just really wanted to host my friends. And a lot of the time, if we have people over for breakfast, they sit and we stand and it's just after a while my back hurts i'm too old for this i need to sit um and yeah i just don't always love sitting in my living room like sometimes i want to have my friends over like i think we are just at that age where we like having our friends over now and that wasn't something that i really had when we moved in it was locked down we weren't having friends over and the longer ryan and i have been together we actually have like groups of coupley friends you know and like we have more people that we hang out with whereas i think when we first met we had like individual friends and we just had one person kind of over at a time and a dining table just wasn't really on the list so yeah that is our new addition and i actually love it so much i love the fact that because there's a skylight right above it the light bounces down onto the table and then the table like kind of shimmies out the light like the light in this kitchen looks so much better already and that it pleases me so much because it's a north facing room so you want as much light bouncing around this room as possible basically and because it's a light bright shiny reflective surface it's really like doing the most it's cloudy right now and you can kind of see on the walls there's just like that's obviously the skylight but there's just it's different it hits different in here now and i'm so pleased with it i'm so pleased with the chairs they look so lovely i really wanted i was i was reserved about going for wooden chairs but i think they've really helped to warm the space nicely this chair, by the way, this chair was not meant to be here. I moved this in here from the bedroom because I moved this chair and my office collapsible chair, the Rattan one, in here to see what I liked against the marble table. Because I was either going to go teddy bear, like boucle material on a dining chair, or I was going to go for something wooden. So I wanted to test in here and see what I liked the best. And I I kind of love the teddy bear, but I just thought six of them, I actually am not going to like it that much. I like a little bit of boucle in here, but not six people's worth of boucle, you know? And um, so we decided to go for the rattan, obviously. Um, but that was in here because I was testing the material out and like how it looked. And Nala has taken to sitting on it and watching us eat our dinner. Um, she just likes to be with us all the time. And if she wasn't on there, she'd probably try and get on our laps. So we're kind of, we just kind of left it there. I feel too mean to move it now because she just looks so happy when she sits on the chair next to us. So I don't really know what to do. Maybe I should put a dog bed there, but she likes to be high up and like see us. It's the cutest thing. So yeah, if you're wondering why there's a random armchair in the corner, like it's not giving anything to the space, but it's just squished in there. It's because of the dog she is our child and we love her but i am now thinking that this wall because there's no two giant armchairs here i do feel like this wall needs something and i'm reserved to put a piece of art on this wall because there's a piece of art on this wall and i feel like when you stand at the back of the room that's almost a bit too much so i'm thinking like maybe not a giant plant because i just i hate plants maybe like a big lamp like that makes a feature of the space and like curves over 
here or something like that. I don't, I haven't decided yet, but we do need something, something tall to like bring the eye up. I just have not decided what that is yet. Anyway, that is my long table run over. But the other great thing about it is the positioning is just about still working for an outfit of the day in this mirror. The mirror is not moving yet. This mirror will not move until I have my own designated dressing room upstairs. So yeah, let's do a little outfit of the day whilst we're here. I have got a Zara body on in a nice little nudie colour with trousers that are very matchy matchy, but I'm not mad about it. And we're doing a little bit of a colour sandwich. I've got a little black belt on and then I've got black uh, little sandals on. I actually found these when I was clearing out all of my stuff in the archive in the loft and I didn't realise I had them. So happy. So, so happy. I have had an absolute little shock my wardrobe moment and I could not be happier. There were so many things I just didn't. I genuinely thought I had given away to charity that I still owned. There's a lot of stuff going around on TikTok at the moment, by the way, guys, about having an archive. And as a girly that has had an archive for the best part of five years now, I would not advise it. You genuinely, if your archive is too big, you will forget about your stuff. I would recommend archiving your winter to summer but not having an archive of things that you're like, oh, I'm not wearing my, right now, but I might in two years. Don't bother, don't do it. It will just accumulate. Something that I don't ever want to do again. When I have my walk-in wardrobe, I'd like to kind of have, when I have all my winter stuff out, that is all my winter stuff, even if I'm not wearing it right now. I'm, I'm no longer having like a archived pieces aside from maybe designer items um or like events dresses but even then i'm looking into by rotation but yeah if you're if you've been seeing that content and you're thinking about it i would not advise it it's the quickest way to like lose things lose track of things and accumulate stuff that you maybe aren't gonna wear ever again so yeah anyway that's my two cents on that yeah love it um the belt is a little Bottega one if you watch my most recent what i wore in a week where i was styled by a person Personal stylist for a week best week of my life if you watch that you will know this belt if you haven't watched it you should definitely go and watch it because it's probably one of the most enjoyable videos for me to make in a very 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 long time my necklace is edge of ember and then my earrings are etsy and i have no rings on today i got really out of the habit of wearing them when i was in the south of france and i just haven't gone back yet um my nails are also looking so bad at the moment so i'm kind of just not trying not to attract attention to them i need to do them today so that is something that is a little transformation that i will show you because i'm going to do something kind of magical to them i desperately need to do them i have a week's worth of events and they just look so bad but until then we have a building appointment then i'm doing a nail appointment and then i need to have a real like beauty session i have an event tomorrow that is like a fun kind of day party type thing with nars and i just feel like a potato so yeah the hair has not been washed in a while Longer than I care to admit. I am actually not going to tell you how long it's been. Um, nails need doing. I probably, I could do with putting a layer of, no, actually we don't need to tan, tan is fine. But yeah, until then, building appointment. So fun, so much fun. Peak adulting over here. Nail appointment done. And now I'm just using some absolute magic to build myself a tip because my nails or my ring fingers are a little bit broken. That is magical. How would they know? There's no tip underneath when you look underneath. It's just literally, <gasps> that is so magical. I've done this on other people, but I haven't done this on myself yet. And it's so good. I need to straighten this up, but. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Good morning. It is Wimbledon day. Oh, that's not the best camera angle, but let's roll with it. I'm so excited. I am genuinely like so, so excited. I'm going with La roche -Posay and I got this invite months and months ago and I literally have been looking forward to it since like spring time. I am just, I haven't been to Wimbledon in years. I'm so excited. So I'm going to bring you along with me a little bit today. I don't know how much chat I will have because I have barely slept. I'm staying in a hotel, which is so lovely. It's like really old cottagey vibes, but 
I think I might be below like an office or something like that in the building because someone was walking around in one of the rooms until I think maybe like three in the morning and then at like 6 a.m. they started walking around again and the creaking is so so loud so i have probably had about three hours sleep i feel rough but i'm gonna bring you along to wimbledon today with me i actually didn't get the chance to check in with you yesterday but i came up yesterday we went on like a lovely little boat ride i have absolutely nothing to show for it like maybe i have one picture i think i have like me and my apparel or something like that but i have i have nothing i was feeling a little bit car sick so <laughs> it is just all going on this week i honestly I can't believe this week, it's crazy. So I'm gonna bring you along with me the best I can today. Bear with me if it's not my best vlogging work. I'm just about to get ready for the day. I've done my skincare, I've done all La Roche-Posay skincare this morning, which is actually not that different to usual because you know this is an everyday thing. I actually use their like milk cleanser. This is so nice. Like my skin's like sometimes a little bit dry and sensitive because of the skin in me that I use. Like the formula is quite like I have to make sure I really moisturize my skin with my skin in me. But that cleanser is actually really nice. Like my skin feels really happy. I used it last night and I used it this morning. And the I have little sometimes little dry patches and they're like actually looking very minimal today. So I'm impressed. <laughs> finally decided on my outfit i am wearing a white company blue linen shirt which i've literally had for so long now i got it during lockdown so i think this is one of the first times that is actually leaving the house now um i paired it with my zara linen trousers my ysl brown flats a brown pouch bag my celine sunnies and then my etsy earrings and i've just thrown my hair up just so it looks like smart but kind of a little bit effortless if that is even possible because so much thought has gone into this that it's not effortless anymore but yeah that is today's look for Wimbledon this is not what I planned I kind of was thinking like Chanel accessories but it just felt like too much so yeah that is my outfit of the day and pre-warning these sunnies may stay on for the whole day because I feel like I have been hit by a bus I am so tired 
I honestly, so I'm just gonna be hiding behind these for most of the day. Take all pins with you. I have food jealousy. It just looks on my My fave. Hi. When he lost, just one like. Hello everybody. Vlogging is really running away with me this week. I have actually been terrible at it. And right now I'm being extra weird with the vlogging. I'm actually vlogging on the way to Sainsbury's, which is not something that I would ever normally do, but I have something very exciting to show you. We have got a new car and I am literally so so buzzing i actually it's been slightly torturous that i've been away the past couple of days because this arrived literally the morning i left for um my overnight stay and going to wimbledon so i haven't actually been able to drive this yet and i'm a little bit i kind of want to drive it around the car park again it's a big car for me and i'm so <laughs> i'm so scared you've been loving life though yeah it is unreal i'm a bit worried that when i go back to my car i'm gonna be there oh yeah exactly and that is that brings me on to my next bit we have a new car for the next how many days is this the next three days i'm so sad about that i'm like can we keep it what have we got to do to keep it i mean the answer to that is buy it so we have the most exciting weekend planned uh we're going to henley festival with audi and they have very very kindly loaned us a q5 which has always been my like not even my dream car because the q2 was like my dream realistic gr like good for me car but the q5 for me has always been like such a dreamy car that i would love to own but i just haven't always been super confident that i would love a car of this size however i like it I like it a lot. Um, I actually think I give my Q2 so much more space than it needs when I drive that if I like that I could basically drive this in the same way I drive my Q2 and never hit anything because I just think my car is already so much bigger than it is. So I'm like very prepared for a car of this size either way. Here's the dream. It's automatic, which is not something that I've ever driven before. I think I drove an automatic mini once years ago for a Rimmel shoot and it was not the same as this um that was more like a go-kart like it was just it was not the same there's no key oh my god yes <laughs> there's no key i was trying to remember what it was <laughs> this it has no like you don't need you need your key but you don't need your key which just blows my mind and it is just a lot more like techy as well which is just absolutely dreamy like the whole the parking sensor situation on it is absolutely unreal i love it so i'm going to show you when we get to sainsbury's and we get out because obviously i didn't want to vlog it on the driveway i am so looking forward to this weekend and like just going to henley with the audi team i it, it this weekend just keeps getting better and better if i'm very very honest um so yeah i'm excited to bring you along with us uh but yeah i will check in with you and show you the car when we get to sainsbury's like guys look at this this is uh, my car doesn't have this this is so snazzy to me oh <laughs> oh my god i just love i love oh, it i love watching well. yeah right next to it. it is so good it looks <laughs> like that old 90s shoe advert steve madden yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool i just love it you love it don't you i do yeah he really does i'm a bit sad for ryan when we have to give it back oh my god it's so far for me to go now <laughs> wow pray for me this is the audi Q5 Quattro. Quattro Q5 or Q5 Quattro? I'm not really sure. It is so lovely. It's a grey, but it's got almost like a green tint to it. I don't know if that's just my eyes or if that's on purpose. I'm really intrigued to ask them about the colour of this because I actually really love it. It's stunning. The wheels on this are super nice. I don't know, like, obviously I didn't pick all of the features on this car, so I don't know what everything is called. Whereas on mine, I know what things are called, but like, I don't know what this type of wheel situation is called but i just love it i think it looks so snaz this is probably like our dream joint car i think so uh yeah watch this space i love it it's actually so beautiful it's so much bigger than my q2 if you haven't watched my vlog where i pick up my q2 i will link it so so much bigger will you vlog me next to the car so people can see how much bigger it is <laughs> 
It's huge. Mm, guys, if anyone needs crisp inspo, if you're going to Sainsbury's and you're not sure what crisps to get, let me be your crisp influencer, your crisp fluencer, your crisp fluencer. If you like dill and you like jalapenos, just get these, okay? Just get them. I've almost eaten an entire bag to myself. Someone's very jealous of that. <laughs> Do you want some crisps? Do you want some crisps? You're not having any crisps. We don't feed her crisps before anyone has a go at me. <laughs> you, you will just try your luck at anything, won't you? We've arrived in Henley. Ryan has already annihilated his press package. It was very nice for them to do too. They don't normally do too. Anyway, this is our room. It's very nice. Bathroom is lovely, all marbly. Very cute. We've got a nice view, not that view, lol. Um, we've got a nice view of the river out the window. Lovely view. I'm actually just trying to work out in terms of getting to the festival what I do in terms of footwear because it's basically so close that it's not really cabable but it's also not walkable in the heels that I like to wear so do I wear my trainers with my nice dress and look like an idiot but not break my feet so if you saw me walking to Henley festival in my trainers no you didn't i am ready to go uh i had to get ready very quickly so i might be looking slightly disheveled but i prioritized snacking and eating over my getting ready time um but i thought i'd show you what i am wearing so some of you may have seen this outfit before i posted this on instagram because i wore it to a wedding recently and i just loved it so much and this might forever be like it for me when it comes to black tie dressing. I can't remember if I said, but this is a black tie festival. I am so excited to see this. I love a little bit of black tie dressing, but the dress is from House of CB and then my shoes are the YSL dupes from Steve Madden. Because we all know I'm not wearing the original YSL ones, <laughs> even though I own them, they are so uncomfortable. It's not okay. And then I'm going to wear this chanel coco top handle bag and i'm also going to wear these ysl sunnies i actually wanted to wear another pair of ysl sunnies but these ones just kind of looked better this is the outfit also these were the sunnies that i wanted to wear just know that these were the ones that i did want to wear but i just don't know i feel like the outfit is so classic but then I kind of like these because it's like something unexpected. I'm gonna ask Ryan what he thinks. Either of those two, these are a bonus because I can see with them. Yeah, let's go! Home. 